Hey, Andrew from Azito. If you want to know how to make lots of pot plant stands, you'll need a jig or a template. So I'm now going to show you how to do it, and here's all the tools that you'll need. You'll need to get yourself a piece of 18mm plywood. You'll need three pieces of 42 by 19 pine, a few different types of screws, a drill, an impact driver, and then you'll be able to get it together. Grab your piece of 18mm by 596 by 1200mm sheet of plywood and cut it into all of these dimensions and you'll get three templates out of one sheet. While you're at the cut shop, you can get these pieces cut. You'll need two at 295mm, three at 250mm, one by 170mm, two at 138mm and two at 65mm. So the smaller piece of your plywood is going to be the foot. You want to find the centre here. This is 150, so that'll be 75mm in. And then you want to put a little mark just here that is 50mm in at both ends. Because that will tell you where to position your upright template. So now we need some wood glue. I put a bead of glue all the way down the base. Line it up in our position. Move it off to the corner of the bench. Grab a couple of clamps. Now we're not just going to rely on the glue. So a lever. So now you want to place some screws up from underneath so we don't trust just the glue. So again, measure in 75 underneath. You want to put in at least three screws, mark off your three spots, grab yourself a trusty Azito drill and a three mil drill bit. Now where you've marked your spots here, you want to drill pilot holes. Grab your screws, I'm using 8 gauge by 65 mil, and just drive them in. We can now take our clamps off. So now let's fill it in. So our pot plant stand is going to be creating a shape similar to that. So if we put that on our template this way, you can sort of see how our template might need to go. And all we now need to do is create a surround to support this. Grab our two longest pieces at 295, position them on the outside, and one of our pieces at 250, and position it here. Okay, so we've already pretty much got our placement there. So for those ones, they're fairly easy, because it lines up with the outside here. Get ourselves some glue. Glue him into place. Glue that one into place. And then our bottom. Just while the glue's wet, you can maneuver it a little bit. Grab your drill, get a couple of pilot holes done. All right, at this stage we're going to screw it down. We'll need to square it off with our other pieces. I'm using 35 mil screws this time. Eight gauge. Get our next piece of 250 mil just at the top there, just to make sure that we're not going to squish everything in too tight. So you can leave a little bit of room between these so that it's not super tight. Just double check everything all the way down to make sure it's not going to be too tight. Now, 
we can start putting our pot plant stand together by aligning all of this. This is where your other pieces come into play. I've already decided that we want this to be at 140. Now we're going to lay that one in. There is intentionally a bit of gap in between here. Just clean the end of that up so that you can, while it's gluing and screwing, have a little bit of maneuvering because you want to make sure it's square in here. It might actually pay to put a pilot hole in it first. Suggest you put it near the center. And the same with these other two pieces. Get your bigger pieces lined up. Double check your small pieces. You can put them in place just to make sure it all works. And again, leave just a really tiny gap between there. Get this one in place, that one in place. That helps hold it all together while you're gluing and screwing. Now that I'm happy, and I just need to make sure this lines up roughly in parallel to this top piece here before I screw it down. And let's get our first piece. Get the glue on the back of that. Drop it in there. Make sure it's all lined up, and if I'm happy with that, I can then screw it down. You can see I've got a bit of a gap there, that's fine. As long as I can still get this piece in and out, I'm 100% happy. And just keep working your way around. All right, all screwed and glued. We now, have our, we now have our new jig or template for making our pot plant stand. Stay watching the video because I'm now going to show you how to make the pot plant stand. So you'll need to make some cross pieces to support your pot. I recommend you do this before you actually do a hands-on demo and get it all done prior. There's several different ways you can do it. I'm going to show you one way with a miter saw. You could use a sliding miter saw, you can use router jigs, you can do all sorts of things. So the way we'll do it with the miter saw is we'll set it up off the backing fence so that we can get our single cut to be roughly in parallel with the middle axle here. And so we've used three pieces of 42 by 19 pine to bring it out and we're going to cut this piece. I've marked on the side here where I want it to be and I've lined it up by putting my battery in, turning the laser on, and that lines up with my line on the side here. So pop your safety specs on, put your battery in, align your laser with the line on the outside here that we've marked for where we want our trench and our depth. Once you've got that all done, make sure it's well clamped off to the rear fence, and then it's just simply cut. Now we've, now we've done one side of the trench, we just need to move it to the other. Clamp it off to the rear fence. And we've adjusted our depth stop just here to make sure it doesn't cut all the way through so that our trenches can match. And now all we need to do is dock this piece off at 170 mil long. We've got the two sides of our trench cut here, so now we need just to cut that off. So let's tackle it with a multi-function tool. For this trench, we're going to go a little bit old school and use our hammer and chisel. So all our pieces are ready to go together. We've got our two trenched out bits which form the cross. We've got our four legs. Now let's put it all together. Put one leg in the bottom, one of our trenched out pieces in the middle, another piece in the top, like so. Grab our drill, safety specs, 
So if we clamp it off just here on an angle, just across that bit, that'll help hold it in place. We'll need a six mil drill bit because we're using six mil dowel. Find the center of our upright piece here. Lay it over. You want it to be straight up and down. So use this hand just to get the right balance, hold it in position and use this hand for downward pressure. You want to be drilling all the way through. Push it all the way down. Give it a tap with a hammer. It's a little light tap. All the way in. Now swap over to the multifunction tool. Just carefully slice that off. Try and keep it nice and flat in parallel with the timber. There we go. Unclamp. Take this piece out, our bottom piece, and flip it, just like that. Top piece in. Grab our battery and drill. Lock the clamp down. Line up with the center again. Pop the dowel in. Tap it through with your hammer. So we hit the bottom. Change the battery over. Unlock. And there we go, we have one half of our pot plant stand. Now we just need to replicate that, but we also need to be sure, that's okay, that's gonna glue that in a bit later. We need to be sure that we make this piece be opposite this time. So if I put these two together, you'll see that those trenches are opposite. And now we've got our two pieces, our two sides to our pot plant stand. Let's get it glued together. So just pull the joins a little bit apart, get your glue gun, wait till it goes green. Pop a bunch of glue in there by just pressing two or three pumps. Then push it against the stop block, just like that. Swap sides and do the other side. Sanding is one of those things you can sand forever until you're happy. So when you actually get happy with the finish and you can put it together, there's your pot plant stand, all ready for a pot. There you go. And if you want it to stay together permanently, you can always, in the middle here, put a nice big dollop of glue. Just like that. Sit the other one in place. Let it settle together. Once that glue goes off, it's all yours. And that's how you make a pot plant stand, using the jig you made yourself. And for any other cool projects, head to our website or our YouTube channel.